A standard start, first of all, up in Newcastle last Sunday. Uh, good, but I like what his mum did. So we've got stuff you may have missed. What about hot stuff you may have missed? Yeah, baby. <laughs> Now some stuff from the change rooms. Junior Sow, what about Kula Uate getting it on with, uh, with his locker? Yeah! Woo! I tell you, get warmed up from that. It's Jamie Lyon, not that interested with what Des Hasler had to say before the game. <laughs> Been caught out there, Jamie. And uh, what a moment in the dressing room for the Broncos with a wheelie bin. Like you have a wardrobe malfunction, this is a wheelie bin malfunction. Get the garbage out of it first. It reminds me of Chris Hyington for the Tigers last year. He forgot to check the esky, but that's Chris Hyington. There you go. Good. Good stuff. stuff you may have missed. You're responsible for that, though. You put the ice here. All right, plenty of love in the room. What about plenty of love out on the field? Little uh, kiss out on the field between Shannon McPherson and Frank Moore, Frank Paul Newell Yes, indeed. Benji Marshall, Liam Fort, the traditional Maori uh, nose rub there. Brett Stewart, right on the bottom of Jamie Bure. Got a good piece of ass there. And Rory Costa Jason, just didn't see that coming. No, he was looking left, but he should have been looking right. Stuff you may have missed. What about Auckland last Friday night? How friggin' cold was it? Well, this is how friggin' cold it was. Look at Russell Packer on the bench. <laughs> in the commentary, he lives there. Jamal Idris thought it was too wet. What about him? Why are you holding the ball like that? And I don't know what Peter Wallace's excuse was up in Brisbane, but he got the goal. He fell over and got the goal. That's nice work. Planking is back in the National Rugby League. You may have seen Steve Michaels during the match doing the planking thing. We thought this had been barred, but there you go. Out on the field, a little bit of help for the Broncos. And in case you wanted a reminder that it is dangerous. Yes, indeed. Watch it again. Yeah. I'll give you a guess. What country did that come from? America! Yes, that's right. Let's stay in America. It's been a while since we've shown you an American or an idiot with a gun. So tonight, here's an idiot with a gun. I just f***ing shot myself. The only thing more dangerous than an idiot with a gun is a monkey with a gun. This from the front line somewhere in Africa. Yeah, you may have missed that stuff. That was from uh, Channel 9 News on uh, Tuesday night. That was the top story. Now, news of the world. Very serious. The uh, phone hacking scandal. Uh, Rupert Murdoch, one of the most powerful men in the world. Bandage bear. But uh, it's amazing. He's also a big fan of the footy show. And he quoted Fatty Vaughton during his uh, defence at the inquiry. Did you miss this? I would have called him at least once a month, I guess. And what, so what would you discuss with them? If, if things I like that weren't, weren't on the agenda, what was it? Yeah, what's doing? Sorry? I'd say, what's doing? <laughs> Thanks for watching, mate. Exactly. I mean, it's got Fatty Six Logies just saying, what's doing? Why shouldn't Rupert Murdoch use it before the cameras of the world? <laughs> Oops, watch your eye. Ah, uh, now Darren Clark, what a great win in the British Golf Open. If anyone was in any doubt that Irishmen and Northern Irishmen don't know how to celebrate, well, Darren Clark, this is the morning after winning the Open. Quite a few pints and, um... Quite a few beers and quite a few glasses of red wine, and um, it all continued into um, about 30 minutes ago. So. One of the great press conferences from the world of sport. Well done, Darren Clark. Seems like a really nice play. All right, back to the stuff from rugby league. Some Falcons you may have missed. Just your standard accidental Falcon involving Ben Lowe for South Sydney. There you go. Just timid start. Chris Sando made sure he's counted. Straight on to Jake Friend. The really aggressive Falcon. Bodine Thompson into Corey Parker. Ended up with get off the head. Back in your own nose. And then we've got a ball boy Falcon from the Dragons. I think this is young Alex from the Dragons. Here comes the ball. Your big moment. Cops it right in the face on a cold winter's night. Got to hurt. Stuff you might miss. All right, we're coming to a close. Um, let's finish with some other sports. Soccer. He's a smart ass playing the beautiful game. Like, I mean, really. I mean, that's just showing off. That is posing. Now, that's from somewhere in uh, Dubai or somewhere. But now, my weekly highlights from the Tour de France. Does anything else happen, bar accidents? Because it's pretty boring, really. But anyway, there's one bloke going over. Uh, then there's a dangerous turn here, gets a little bit slippery. And there's somewhere up in the hills in the Pyrenees, I picked up this accident. Uh, one of the riders, yeah. <laughs> that was a bit nasty. Uh, well, 
love watching the jam, yeah. <laughs> nasty. nasty stuff, that. Yeah, nasty. Bandage bear, shame you can't see it. You've got a fiberglass head. Anyway, we finish with a bang. Uh, from the world of motocross, the best in the world is Chad Reed. What about this stuff you may have missed? I mean, this is in incredible. Up he goes and down he goes and he's okay. Got back on the bike and completed the race. Well, I've got to tell you, that accident actually hit a nerve with us here in the footy show. In fact, it uh, shed a chill down the spine because uh, we've had some horrific accidents in the past, some uh, terrible, nasty accidents where we almost lost the lives of some of our hosts. Uh, let's revisit them right now. Fatty Vorton out in the car park. Uh, there he goes, getting a bit of air. And then he gets around the corner and, oh no, that was bad. But what about Daryl Braman on Dead Man's Corner? Yes. Yes. That was as bad as it gets. Terrific stuff. And that is the way we're going to miss tonight. Daryl, thankfully you're still with us. Fatty, you're still with us. And with a bit of luck, stuff you may have missed will be back next week. See you then.